Hey everybody, it's GliderCat, and it's time to play. We're back here in the Colonists. Uh, where are we on? Campaign 3 here. And our goal is to produce a medium monument. And for that, let's just check out the build menu here and see if it's on here. Okay, a medium monument is going to take 25 iron, 10 planks, and 25 bricks. So we have not done bricks yet at all. Uh, let's see, iron, we've done that in the last campaign. But if we look at our tiny little island that we started on, we don't have any coal, we don't have any iron, we don't have any way to produce uh, this iron here. So we're going to need to get off of this little island. To do that, if we look at the hints here, it's telling us we need to build a harbor. Build a harbor on the shore to discover new islands and more resources. So we're definitely uh, in pursuit of that harbor. In the first episode, we set up all our kind of basic resource production. We've got logs going. We've got stone going. We've got uh, a good-sized little inventory of logs and stone here. We set up six residences. So we've got level one power uh, being produced at a pretty good clip. And we've got our farm and vegetable gardens here producing food. We've got three uh, fish huts being, uh, generating food for us. So we've got the basics pretty much down. And towards the end of the last episode, we put down our sawmill. And that's going to start producing planks so we can feed those over to our workshop and get this research going. And then we have like the basic scaffolding one research underway right now. And if we look at the research tree, let's see, is there a way to look at the research tree here? Let's see, there must, seems like there would be a way to get at the research tree. Research new technologies. Cancel research. Well, I don't want to risk canceling the research. But when this is done, we'll take a look at the research tree. I'm sure there's a way to do it. I just don't know how. We look at our little statistics up here at the top of the screen. Looks like 99% of our uh, resources delivered in the last week that were on time. So that's probably better than Amazon. So we're doing good there. And then colony productivity is at 88%. That's not too bad. We did, I think we had another log shortage <laughs> a little bit earlier in the first episode. So always got to keep on top of uh, your foresters and your and your lumberjacks to make sure you've got enough resource. So in that vein, while we're thinking about it, we've got a little time while we're waiting on research, let's make sure our forester can fill in some trees up in this area, uh, just north of this Isabel's lumberjack hut. So let's do that. And we just have to select some tiles here and just make sure that we've always got enough trees planted in here. So that is good. We talked about maybe putting another stone mine over here. We don't need stone right now, but we've got a little bit of time on our hands. So let's go ahead and do it. Drop that guy down. Surface mine. That is as good as anywhere. And then we can extend this road that we had started as a path originally. In fact, why don't we just do it all the way like that? And I think we talked about if we need more uh, logs and things, we could maybe set up a forestry area over here. Although I'm not sure if the trees will grow on this gray, this gray land or not. I guess we could find out. And this stone here is being covered by this uh, stone mine that we've got going. And then we were we just opened up this area of coastline. And again, we're going to need to build some things on that coastline. And it is, let's see, this boatyard. We just can't do that until we complete our research. We do have the ability to put down a road layer. Doesn't seem like it's, although we need more research for that too. On this small island, I don't know that we're going to get uh, enough traffic congestion with our bots to, to merit having to put down that road layer and laying down cobblestone. We could, I mean, it looks like we've got an abundance of stone on the island. Um, Again, we can't really do that now because we don't have the research. So let's take a look at our workshop. We could actually experiment with, uh, oh, looks like it's done. Okay, let's keep this moving. We 
want to get to construction one. We need stone masonry to get there. Let's just get that guy going. Cool. So that is underway. Let's see the rest of the research tree while we have it open here. Construction speed, not a huge issue right now. This construction will probably be the next thing we do. And then maybe mining will come next. We can't really mine any of these ores right now, right? The coal, iron ore, and clay. I don't think we have any of those on our current island. So that's not super urgent. Yeah, we talked about the uh, coppicing, I guess it's called, to increase sapling growth speed by 15%. This might come in handy if we are running out of space to plant forests and we want them to regenerate faster. But I don't think it's urgent right now. Cobbled roads, that can come later. And then uh, military, I don't think this is going to come into play uh, in this campaign. We saw earlier that some of the campaigns have those little like bow and arrows going through them. Uh, and I'm guessing those are the ones that have battle. We have another research we could do here, which is science. It increases the research speed by 10%. I suppose that would be good to invest in earlier than later. We do have 20 stone that's required for this. So we could consider doing this. It's just hard to delay the construction, right? Hard to delay construction one and mining one. I think we need both of those in order to mine the ore in that. So once again, let's see, what's it going to take to build that boatyard? Construction one and boat building. So I don't remember seeing boat building in the research tree. Okay, let's see, where is boat building? Did we go right by that? I don't see it here. I don't see it there. Transportation, that makes sense. All right, this gets unlocked. Once we have construction one done, then we can come over to transportation and do the uh, boat building one. Definitely need that. So tell us what that unlocks. Let's see. Unlocks the construction of boats, the boatyard. Okay. And boat building two unlocks construction of lugger. I don't know what the lugger is. Maybe that's a maybe that's a boat for hauling resources. So we might need to get that as well. Let's see. In order to speed up this research, we could consider adding another workshop. Oh, it looks like our research got completed. That wasn't too bad. Let's go ahead and jam here on construction one and just get that moving. And let's see. Needs planks. Level one energy stone. So I think we're doing pretty good on all of those. We could set up a storage yard for our level one energy. Why don't we do that or set up another storage yard while we're waiting here? Let's do it. Boom. And let's go big. And let's pop it right here. Boom. And maybe we can store some level one energy if we need to. Let's see, what else can we do? This guy's chugging along. He is a little light on planks, it looks like. So let's check out our sawmill. Our sawmill has what it needs. It's a little slow. We could drop another sawmill, even if, even if we only use it temporarily. We have plenty of logs. We need those planks. Why don't we do it to speed up our research? So sawmill is where? Here. Can I fit one in here? These guys are kind of big. Let's see. I guess I could drop it right here. It's not too far from our storage. Boy, it'd be nice to put it right there, but there's just not enough room. Or we could come down this way. We've got plenty of land here. Why don't we drop it over here? even closer not yet let's drop another sawmill down and just see if we can't speed things up a little bit on our research front I th since we're short on planks we were a little short on planks i think that makes sense more than uh, putting down another workshop so we are on our way let's see let's see once we get this 
this workshop, or once we get this research done, the uh, construction one, then we can do the boat building, and then hopefully we can place our uh, our boat yard or whatever that is, the boat construction place. Okay, here's our storage yard is available. Let's go ahead and add some things. How about level one power? Let's do 10 of these. And what else can we put in here? We could store some planks for later if we need them. Let's do that. Planks. Let's do, let's see, let's do 10 of those. And then we've got 20 more storage if we need it. And I think I'm gonna hold off. Now we see our lumberjack hut just does not have any fully grown trees in the region. Let's open up his cutting area. Boy, we, yeah, we may need another forester, right? I think that's, I think that's the problem here. Fortunately, this guy, one forester is just not going to be able to keep up. We've got room. Let's see if we can drop another one down. I think there's one right, one will fit right here. Let's do it. And we can select the area. He can plant trees all along here. We'll just keep this whole area forested. We do have a little roadway coming through here. We could. Ah, oh, that's fine. All right, construction complete. Our forestry is finished construction. So hopefully that'll keep our log production up. And that will keep our sawmill production up. So we've just exhausted all the logs here that were in our storage yard, but we are filling up the planks, so that's good. That means our workshop should be kept fully stocked. What's he short on now? Power. Energy level ones. How are these guys doing? Let's go ahead and add food to this storage yard. Maybe we can kind of keep an eye on how things are going. We'll do 10. Here, let's do 10 vegetables. And we'll do 10 fish as well. Fish are in a barrel, are they not? Is that the fish? Yeah. All right, so that fills up that storage yard. Kind of gives us a visual cue as to what we've got on hand. Looks like we're short on logs and we are short on food. How are our fishers doing? They don't need any re-inputs. They just keep producing fish. And I don't know if there's any way to upgrade these guys or speed them up. Yeah, they look, they look like they're doing about as good as they can. All right, we also have our other uh, watchtower that we put here. And in, uh, in the last episode, we talked about being a little concerned about how much um, shoreline we have in order to place our boat builder and our harbor. So we may have to take this watchtower out just so that we can build those the harbor or the boat builder on these water tiles, but we also have a little bit of room here now that we might be able to build on. So we'll just have to wait and see on that. I may speed up the game. I think now we're just really waiting on the research. We're almost done with construction one. Power, I guess we could look at power. We're still short on power. Let's see. This guy, what are they waiting on? This guy looks like maybe he's waiting on some food. Here comes some fish. Now he's waiting on water. We've only got one well. Might make sense to put another well down. Let's do that while we're at it. And where do we want that? There's room here. I don't know if there's much else we're gonna be able to put here. So let's just do that. Take this guy, put him near our residences. And off he goes. We are gathering, we have a little bit of, a little tiny bit of food here. And this guy's got a couple foods, so maybe it's not food, maybe it's water. So maybe that'll help speed up our, yeah, it looks like we've got some food backing up here on the road. 
So maybe it was just water that's holding up our level one battery production. All right, we're at 91%. Got everything he needs, plenty of planks, plenty of stone, and now he's got the level one power he needs. Got a couple in inventory, so we should be good there. And then we're going to jump on boat building once this is done, and it's going to be done here in a second. Boom. All right, let's just jump on the boat building. That was in transportation. Boom. And I think once that gets done, we can... Uh, can get off the island here and go find the iron and coal and things that we need. But we could be building cider and all that on the island. There's not much more green space left, but there is a space here that we could potentially do our cider and alcohol production. Let's go see what's on the other islands first. There may be plenty of space, and that'll be closer to where the guys need it. Because right now, we don't need any level 2 power. And uh, the alcohol is needed to produce at level 2 power. So this lumberjack was waiting there for a second for trees to grow. So hopefully this extra forester is going gonna, is gonna to help keep our log production up where it needs to be. We're at 9%, 10% on the boat building. Again, now I see a lot of water and I don't see a lot of food, but I see a lot of food here kind of on the roads waiting to be delivered. So maybe I misspoke. Maybe we are going to need that uh, that uh, road level level layer or road layer guy. Let's see, where is that? Road layer. And cobbled roads. So maybe we do research the cobbled roads. That will speed up the delivery of these resources. So we got a lot of guys backed up here. That is not good. That is not good. So that's going to bring our productivity down. Yep, you can see it's down to 65%. And our goods delivery is down to 97%. We've got four blocked roads. Oh, not good. We have storage. So what is holding all of this up? Yeah, we're probably, well, we'll see. We'll just see. Get through this research, 40%. We'll build our boatyard, and as soon as this research is done, we'll move to doing the, uh, we'll do the road, the cobbled roads. And then we can start speeding up um, the transport of goods throughout our colony here. I still wish I saw more trees up through here. We've got two forest trees. You can change the tree. Grass and snow. Growth time, eight days. That's interesting. I didn't see this. Fir tree. Grass and snow. Growth time, 12 days. Now, I wonder if these fir trees produce more wood. Snowbot. Snow. <laughs> I don't know what that is. A snowbot. Snow. Growth time. Doesn't say anything. So maybe you can build a snowman or a snowbot. Just for fun in the winter biomes. I haven't seen a winter biome, so... Maybe we'll see one as we play. We've got tons of fish backed up here on the docks. So we should be good for food. Yeah, it looks like we've got food and storage here too. Hopefully that's not clogging up the roads. Not too much food. Because I see a lot of food here sitting on the road. And then I see all of these residences waiting on food. So I'm not sure why that's not getting delivered. If it's just congestion. These all are accessible. What we could do. Let's see if I can extend a path here between these two guys. No, I don't think so. No, I can't. I just thought maybe I could shortcut the delivery of water to this residence without having to go on the road. But this part's not really congested anyway. And these guys are waiting for food. Boy, that's unfortunate there's a ton of food sitting here and these two residences can't produce power because they're waiting on food 
any way I could, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let's look at our road network here while we're waiting for the research. Maybe there's a way we could come down here and then branch over somehow and have another way of getting this resource uh, to where it needs to go. Maybe, maybe a few extra paths here, will that help? Be another way for Poo to travel to get to these residences. Not sure. All right, our workshop's available. Let's get on the road research. Select research. Let's do cobbled roads. Get that going. Then we can get our road layer and we can speed up the roads. Now, though, we should be able to build our. We'll get a lot of new things here. Our boatyard and our harbor. Let's see what else opened up. Workshop. I'm not sure why that's showing why it's got a, a, a little blue dot over it. Okay, we got the charcoal burner, blast furnace, and blacksmith. We probably won't build those on this island unless we find out that we have to. Okay, and cider press orchard. Yeah, okay, we're good. Well, let's see if we can build the harbor. How big that is. Oh, that's not too bad. Let me rotate this and put the water part in the water. Okay, so I'm guessing this is as good of a place as any. And if we have to move it, we'll move it. Let's see if the boatyard's bigger. It is. Let's rotate that. Maybe. Oh, look at that. We're good. Let's definitely pop the boatyard there. It fits. Let's connect up the road or a path here. And get that guy going. And then we can try our boatyard maybe or no that was the boatyard let's do the harbor oh look at that is that gonna actually work let me rotate the map here but that would be cool if it does it does check that out oh man that can't, that worked out perfect shock awesome 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 Okay, let's see what these guys need to build. Planks and stone. Should be plenty good on both of those. And planks and stone. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm not sure what these guys... Okay, it's just showing what's what's going to be delivered here, I guess. Got these little bubbles above the resource. Cool, we've got plenty of stone. Our stone miners have plenty of power. Our trees are still not where I'd like it to be. Let me just double check and check the range on these guys. Yeah, they can plant anywhere, all over the place. But uh, it's just taking them a while to get that, that all populated. Okay, I do want to get the road layer down. So let's see where we are in that research. 36%. Got a little bit more to go, or <laughs> more than half to go. But he's moving at a decent speed. Let's just check our build menu, see if we missed anything. I see a track and a one-way signal. What is this? Does this tell us? Select an existing piece of track to start from. Okay, one-way signals allow you to control the direction trains can move. This allows you to create circular routes for your railways. Place a one-way signal. First select a section of track, and then select highlighted track to indicate which direction you'd like to allow travel. To remove a one-way signal, shift and click on it. All right, so I don't think we can do that yet. But we'll have to try that out. Boatyard Harbor, Large Harbor Train Station. I guess that's coming later. Medium Monument. We already saw that at the top of the episode. Workshop. Not too much here to do. We could upgrade our workshop at some point. We're at fifty percent, and what are we waiting on? Is it power? What is? I wonder what he's waiting on here. Energy level one's got plenty of energy. Maybe needs some more stone. Yeah, it looks like he needs some more stone actually. So we've got some being mined right nearby. 
got tons here. It just needs to make its way through this congested road network. So yeah, he's waiting, 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 waiting on stone, I guess. Yeah, waiting for resources. Need more stone. All right, let's see. Our boatyard's being constructed. And how's our harbor? Same thing. All right. Well, we'll wait. Once these guys are constructed, we may wrap up this episode there. Can't think of anything else critical that we need to do just yet. Uh, I do think once we pave some of these paths here, uh, that'll speed up our level one battery or level one power production. We may need to think about doing level twos. Uh, if we do that on this island, we're going to need room for the cider mill and the press. That would get us the alcohol. And then we can have a couple upgraded residents producing the level two power. But I'm just, we don't need level two power yet on this island, it doesn't look like. So that's why I'm kind of holding off on that one. kind of anxious to get to uh, I think the next campaign we may have military stuff so that will be interesting I'm looking forward to that let's see I'm going to speed up the clock here I'll go four times just for a little bit of a stretch by our delivery time everything is going slow if you look at the top here we're not doing so good now resource delivery I think when we started was at 99 percent now we're at 67 our productivity is slowly climbing back up Plenty of planks and plenty of food, it looks like. Looks like the roads are clearing up a little tiny bit. Still a lot of stuff on them, though. Water's good. Putting down that second well, I think, really helped. We can look at our power production here. What's it say how we're doing? We have a potential of 6.3, and we're consuming 11. So in theory, we need to drop more residences down to keep up with the power demand. We're at 73, 74, 75. Our research is moving along, waiting on power. Again, we have plenty of food. It's just getting it delivered fast enough. Just again, wondering if I should drop more residences. These guys are all, they're all smoking. So every rooftop is smoking here, so they are producing. So we do have extra food. We're almost done with our research here on the roads. These guys are almost built. In fact, it looks like our harbor is built. Okay, no boats currently stop here. Now this we're going to have to figure out how this all works. Gather the required provisions to stock an expedition boat which can explore the seas and build a harbor on new land. Okay, eight stone and four planks. Now, what does this collect resources? I need to click that. Yeah, okay, this is going to allow us to go on an expedition. And I'm guessing once this boat gets uh, boat yard gets built, and it's doing it right now, then we can build a boat, and it's going to take 24 planks for a clipper boat. Does it tell us what a clipper does? Not sure. Construct boats. What else do we have? A clipper or a lugger? So I'm guessing clipper explorers and the lugger is for hauling. That definitely looks like a boat that's going to haul some resources. But let's wrap this episode up here. We just got our road research done. So next episode, maybe we'll lay down that or we'll place a road layer and he can start using some of our stone. Looks like we've got plenty on the island to speed up um, the roads <laughs> or pave the roads so that our, our little carry bots can move a lot faster. And hopefully that will speed up our power production just by doing that. So we've got plenty of food. And if we can get that food and water to our six residences, that may be enough for the level one power. And then next episode also, we'll build that boat, that clipper boat, and we'll send off an expedition and we'll just see what happens. I haven't done that before. So thanks for sticking with me. Uh, we're making progress here. 
I'm not sure what we're going to find once we go exploring, but we'll start that in the next episode. So for now, this is GliderCat signing off saying I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.